Welcome to the channel. I've managed to get hold of an old Citizen watch with the Calibre H820 movement inside and I'm going to quickly run through how to set this. It's radio controlled so receives a daily update from a radio tower but you know what you may be in a location where you don't get the signal so you may have to set the time manually. So this is how you do it. First thing you need to do is select your city. If you look around the inside of the bezel you've got all these cities written down here. Pull out the crown one click, follow the second hand gone to 12 o'clock indicating London is selected. If I was in Paris I'd move the crown once clockwise and select Paris and the hands would go one hour ahead but I'm going to wait for this to settle I'm going to go anti-clockwise put it back to London so the first thing you do is select your time zone. The next thing you do is you need to tell the watch is summertime on or off and you do that by looking at these markers here in white so standard time and summertime. So at the minute that white hand is on summertime so the clocks are forward but if they were back I'd need to select standard time and I do that by pressing the top push button once and the clocks go back an hour. We are currently in summertime the clocks have gone forward so I'll wait for the hands to settle and then I'll press the top push button again. Okay clocks have gone forward. Crown is still out in the first position. Okay, next thing I do is I hold down the top push button in for three seconds. One, two, three, let go. Second hand goes to six o'clock, indicating I can now change the time by pulling the crown out to the furthest position. One more click. You'll see the minute hand wiggle indicating time can be set. So just turn the crown and set the time. Now you might think this will take you forever, but what you do is you sweep your finger down the crown and it just takes off on its own. You can see the time being changed. Keep your eye on the 24 hour clock here and make sure you select the time to morning or afternoon. Obviously we're coming up to 12 now, so that would be 12 in the afternoon, not 12 in the morning. I'm going to turn the crown to stop it at 12. So we're going to go around one more time. I'm not putting the crown in, it's staying out. And I will turn the crown when I get close to 12 o'clock. Okay, I'm not quite there, so I'm just going to go one click at a time and get it to 12. Okay, now I press the top button to move on to the next thing to tell the watch. Okay, this hand at the top's wiggled, indicating I can now set the date of the month. Turn the crown one click. That will do four or five spins and the date window will change and it will stop automatically. Now I can go anti-clockwise and put it back onto the 24th. If you were miles away from the date, what you could do is you could actually sweep your finger down the crown and it will just take off. That will just go on and on and on, 25th, 26th will be next, and it will just go on and on and on until I turn the crown to stop it. So maybe if you were far away from the date, you'd want to use this technique. I'm just going to stop it on the 28th, so I'm going to turn it once. Okay, I've stopped it on the 27th. <laughs> turn it once, let's stop on the 28th, four or five spins, that hand will stop. Okay, so we've done the time, we've done the date, press the top button and move on to the next thing to change. Now this will be day of the week. You can see day of the week is indicated here with the single letters. So if I turn the crown, you can go anti-clockwise or clockwise. That must be Saturday up to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. I can go anti-clockwise, Tuesday, Monday. Okay, so we've set the time, we press the top button. We set the date, I've pressed the top button. We've set the day of the week, now I'm gonna press the top button again and move on to the most complicated thing, which we need to do. Because this watch has a manual inbuilt perpetual calendar, I need to tell the watch what month it is, and is it a leap year, one year past, two years past, or three years past a leap year. So the way we do that is we use the second hand. So turn the crown, and you'll see the second hand moving. Now we've got 12 hours of the day for 12 months of the year. So if we were in September, I would put the second hand exactly on nine o'clock. There we are. If we were in October, I'd put the second hand exactly on 10 o'clock and so on. Okay, now for the leap years, you need to tell the watch if you're in a leap year, one year past, two years past, or three years past the leap year. And the way you do that is it, as you can see, when I turn the crown one click, it will go one dash past 10 o'clock. So that means we are in October and we are one year past the leap year. Second dash past October and two years past the leap year. Third dash, we are October and three years past the leap year. 
If I turn it again, it'll, it'll jump straight to 11 o'clock or November, and it'll be bang on November, which means it is a leap year. November and a leap year. So we are one year past a leap year, being in 2021, and of course the month is June, so that means I need to move this second hand to one dash past six o'clock. Six being the sixth month of the year, and one dash past being we are one year past a leap year. Next thing to do, press the top button, takes you back to the beginning again to set the time because it doesn't remember how long it's taking you to go through this process. So let's say it's taking me a couple of minutes. I just need to move that second hand on again. Put the crown in, you are finished. But if you wanted to just double check, you could keep pressing the top button and skip through all those steps again. Okay, but I know it's done. So I'm just gonna put the crown in. And that is how you set the time on a Citizen Calibre H820. Hope that helped.